Well, gamers, it's another day. It's quite chilly here in western Washington, which is weird because recently it's been warm because it's summertime. But nevertheless, today is chilly. That's not what I wanted to talk about. The weather is boring. I want to talk about something more interesting. So today I woke up and was greeted by a new Nintendo video. Uh, they had announced a new Switch, which I was very excited about. I thought it would be the Switch Pro. Um, it wasn't. Let's just say that. It's called the Switch OLED. And I'm, actually, I'm a little disappointed, to be honest, because I, uh, well, you know, a lot of people were expecting like, 4K graphics or whatever. I, 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 I thought that there was no way there would be 4K graphics. I was just hoping that... I, I was hoping for three things. I was hoping for three things. One, I was hoping that Joy-Cons would get a superior, slightly more expensive form that was less subject to drift and felt more comfortable in the average hand. Two, I was hoping that uh, Online would have better connect connections and better functionality because Switch Online is kind of a joke right now. And three, I was hoping for a simple upgrade in processing power just so that Korok Forest and Breath of the Wild didn't completely lag out your Switch. Because if you ever played Breath of the Wild and you go into Korok Forest, the frame rate just drops. The Switch can't handle a game that's meant for the Switch. It's rather silly. I was hoping for those, hopefully those three things on the new Switch. Which I felt like wasn't that much, um, that much to ask from an upgraded version. I didn't need 4K graphics. You don't need 4K graphics. Breath of the Wild looks great as it is. We got none of those things. We got more colors on your display, which isn't that interesting. We got 0.8 inches, 0.8 inches wider of a screen. That's not very much at all. That's like less than two centimeters. That's nothing, which was dumb. Oh, we also got a new stand, and granted the Switch stand is trash, but switch, a Switch stand being a main feature of the new Switch, that's dumb. And also, we got, um... What, what else did we get? Is that literally it? That's, that's pretty much it. But it was disappointing, because they added almost nothing. And it's being marketed as a brand new product that was... Yeah, so, needless to say, I'm disappointed. What are your thoughts on the Switch Pro? Or the new, sorry, the Switch OLED? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you feel the same way I do? Are you greatly angered? Did you expect 4K? I don't know. Comment below. Alright, anyway, that's all I have to talk about. So, I'll see you in the next diary. Cheers.